may be shocked to discover that one in three American men are addicted to finding love. In this episode of Real Life, you meet one lusting lover that is desperate to find love and ready to force all means to find it. Dusty had a girlfriend for the last four years of his life and now lives alone in his dorm room on the university campus. See how this plays out on this week's episode of Real Life. Um, my name is Dustin Abernathy. I am 21 years old, and I am addicted to love. Um, so this is actually my girlfriend uh, for, of about four years, and then we broke up. Some things of hers that I still have. This is, this is her glass. Um, I still uh, still look at it and hold it. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. So um, I'm 21 years old. Um, I've never lived anywhere but at home and on the university campus, which I'm at now. And I love people. She, it sounds corny, but you know, we were at the beach one day and uh, I didn't bring any, bring any sunscreen. So, of course, she always, she always had sunscreen. So, I haven't used it since. So it's still got some sand on it from that day. So, what do you see yourself in five years? In five years, um, I hope to be married with at least two kids. Um, but at the rate I'm going, I'll probably have no kids, no marriage. So in five years, really, I'll probably be living back home, to be honest. Two is, uh, two is her favorite number, um, and I always hit two going down the elevator every time. I love to go outside and just watch people. I just love everything about it. People like that. Uh, yeah, but you know, a lot of times I don't usually follow them. Only. Only sometimes, but I like to watch people. How do the girls take you? I don't know that they ever see me. If I follow them, I guess maybe they would see someone behind them, but if I'm just sitting watching people, I don't know that they ever see me there. Um, so we actually worked together. We were RAs together. And um, yeah, he was a pretty, pretty interesting person, to say the least. Yeah, he kind of like got fired for just like being a creep. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him occasionally like occasionally um, follow people like around the quad, like especially with everybody out and about in the sun. He'll just like walk up to different groups and just strike up just awkward conversations. It just doesn't, I don't know, it, it looks awkward. I'm sure the people are kind of creeped out and they kind of like inch away, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I've just seen him around, but he seems like a really cool guy. I mean, not really, kind of. He just seems to be really friendly. Like, I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about him. He's just around all the time. But he's always smiling, so he seems really nice. So there's a girl just at the bar right there. I think I'm going to sit down right over here and just look at her for a minute. But you can come watch if you want to. There's gonna be girls watching this, and what would I hope you? So, yeah. Yeah. Why would you like them to know? I would like um, the girls to know that I'm available. You think of all those creeps out there that just get a hold of you, but me, I'll, I'll take care of you. If you're ever alone, need someone to talk to, I'll be there. Just look up my number on Craigslist. <laughs>